How's it going everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create custom exhaust in BeamNG. And so to do this we're going to use a software called Blender, it's free, and another software called Notepad++ that's not required but I highly recommend it. And so I'll link both of those in the description below. Uh, step one is we're going to go through the exhaust to see which option we want to work with. And so in this case I'm just going to go over to the RS exhaust and you can see RS exhaust is a name. Remember that. And then once you've picked that out feel free to just close the game. Once you've closed a the game, there's two different file paths that you're gonna wanna open. So you're gonna want your local BeamNG folder. So that's app data, local, BeamNG, current version, mods. And then if you don't already have this folder, uh, name one unpacked, go in there. And then I'm just gonna create another folder called Sunburst Mod YT, and then open that up. And then what you wanna do is go over to your Steam library. This one, you can actually just go to the settings of your game on Steam and then open file path. And so once you're in here, because I'm working on the Sunburst, I'm gonna look up Sunburst, if I can type. And then in here, vehicles sunburst and so these are all of the files pertaining to the sunburst and so this says vehicles sunburst we're going to want to essentially place the same folders in our new mod folder so vehicles and then sunburst and now essentially whatever files we put in this new folder that we made will be placed into the actual steam folder uh, as we have the game open so if you take something out of here then it will be removed from the car so you're not making any permanent changes to uh, when i first started doing this i would literally go in here and change up like the files and stuff it would be like a buggy mess basically you don't want to touch these files at all you just want to make an unpacked folder it's super easy and so now in our steam folder i'm going to look up exhaust and then i'm also going to look up dae and so you can see i have these different dae files the one that you want is just sunburst.dae you don't want dae.dae you want just a sunburst.dae or whatever car you're working on and then go ahead and just paste that into your new mod folder the first thing that we have to do is open up blender once you've opened up blender go ahead and get rid of the camera cube and light go to file import and then head over to that unpacked folder that you made and then once you've done that, you can see we have the car in Blender. You're going to want to just delete pretty much everything you can just select. And I already know the name of the exhaust, so I'm just going to go over here and delete everything like so. And there, I just have the exhaust. What I want to do is rename this. So I'm just going to do custom blast. And then from here, we can actually start sculpting it. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it very simple and just show you the basics. So go ahead and press tab and then hold Z and then go over here to wireframe. Now, the difference between solid and wireframe is let's say I'm back in solid and I select all of this right here. You can see it's only selecting what's visible. Now, let's say I go into wireframe. And select it's selecting everything back here and so you're going to want to be in wireframe mode because we're going to be working on the side of the exhaust and we can just select all of this so let me just go back to wireframe select all of these and then click on the move tool right up here and so now we can stretch the exhaust out we can bring it up or down for the sake of this video i just want to kind of uh angle this exhaust a little bit so there, there's a couple different ways that we can do that so now we can just move everything you can see i can literally put it out there if i wanted uh, i'm not going to mess with any of that I'm simply just going to bring this out extend it and have this go up at an angle and then maybe to the side a little bit there we go so now we've got you know just a basic like angle type deal you can even do the same with this too if i wanted to like match it there we go i mean it's not going to be perfect this is just for the sake of the video and so once you've done that go ahead and click on file export go into that unpacked folder that you made and then i'm just going to name this exhaust yt now the name does not matter at all so all that matters is that you rename this one right here and so now i can go ahead and just minimize blender for now in case i need to make any changes once i open up the game which by the way your game should be off this entire time because otherwise sometimes the the files that you put in don't take effect until you close and reopen the game so now in your unpacked folder you're going to open up the exhaust file that you copied over from your steam folder and then i'm just going to look up rs exhaust so i'm going to copy this entire thing and then 
paste it right here. Once you've done that, go ahead and change up this. So RS blast and then blast pipe yt tutorial. This is just going to be the name that pops up in game. Don't mess with anything else besides this right here. So this is the model that it's pulling. And so we're just going to change this to custom blast, custom blast, and then save it. Now I'm going to open up the game. All right, now once you've opened up the game, feel free to go over to config, scroll down to engine, and then we have exhaust. You can see blast pipe yt tutorial. And now... Oh, hell no, man. What the we're gonna fix it up right now. And so let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna kind of fast forward me working on this because it's, it's a bit of trial and error, but essentially I just need to straighten this out. Okay, so this might be a little better. Let me just bring this down. There we go. Should be at an angle now using that rotate tool. So then you're just gonna export it. So now your game is gonna refresh. I wanna bring the angle up and I need to straighten this out just a little bit more. And there you go. You can see I've got like an angled kind of blast pipe type deal. And now for the second to final part, because they both have to do with after fire. Let me, let me go ahead and just place a tune on here and turbo it and watch where the exhaust flames are coming from. So you can see they're coming from the bottom. So we need to reposition those. And so I'm going to open up this scroll down and you can see that this is where our backfire is coming from. And so we just have to go through and kind of mess around with these values a little bit. So this will be trial and error. So I'm just going to mess around with these on my second monitor and show you what happens. And so after a lot of trial and error, you can see I've kind of got it where I want it to be. And so essentially the X axis moves it left and right. The Z axis is what moves it up and down. And then the Y axis is what brings it forward and closer to the camera or behind the car essentially. And so that's all you really have to know. And then if you wanna add like some kind of pop tune, I won't show you exactly how to do it because it's something that you kind of have to go through. And I, I think it's beneficial for one to go through and actually learn some of this stuff but I will give you exactly what you need in order to do this. So you can see on the screen, and I'll link this website in the bottom, this essentially tells you all of the different values that you can place within the exhaust uh, J-beam, which will create different backfire behaviors. And so uh, I just placed in this code. But yeah, looking at some of like the different behaviors, you can make stuff like this. crazy sounding pop tunes and there's there's all sorts of different like uh, exhaust sounds which you can actually I'll show you where you can find those go ahead and press f11 and it's going to bring up the world editor go over here to window audio sfx previewer under event vehicle after fire and then we have all these different sounds So yeah, it's just trial and error from that point. If you guys want to see some more tutorials, pretty much let me know. I've been using this as kind of like my test car. So I've done some crazy stuff. I did a chassis mounted wing for this car. Uh, I also did, it's here, I've got like these black fenders. Uh, clear taillights, so on and so forth. So a lot of this stuff you can kind of just self-teach yourself, but it's also nice to have videos to kind of base your beginnings off of. And so, yep, sorry if, you know, my commentary wasn't the greatest or if I didn't explain things as well as I could have, but I feel like for the most part, I explained everything that you need to know. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.